Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brendan and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, it is great to have you. And today I want to give a bullish price prediction for Bitcoin because in yesterday's video, I explained one of the possibilities being that Bitcoin would come down to this 200 EMA, bounce off of here and start rapidly moving upwards above the 50 EMA. So now that this is coming to fruition, I want to go ahead and give an update video on this and talk about the real potential that Bitcoin has to the upside, breaking out from this current point, even the supports and resistance levels that it could see moving Moving forward in the coming days to weeks so if that sounds interesting at all make sure you guys stick around for the entire length of the video as there will be important information discussed the entire way through but that being said let's go ahead and dive on into this one so if you guys are curious about Bitcoin in here, there's really actually two major resistance levels that I see, one being more of a macro and one being more of a, of a micro. And so in order to do this, I am plotting on the four hour time scale and looking at these EMAs on the four hour time scale. But the first major one that I see is just connecting our two most recent swing highs uh, as a form of resistance or as a resistance line. And the second one's just gonna be connecting our most recent micro uh, lower swing highs to create the second micro resistance line. And so this one's actually hovering right where we're at right now, right above this 50 EMA. And this is going to be a very, very small support level. So when we're looking at this guy, this is not anything significant. This isn't something that I could definitely see Bitcoin breaking in the coming days. Now it's it's still resistance level, but again, with it sitting right above this two, uh, right above this 50 EMA, I'm really not too much worried about this guy as I am a couple of the other different levels. So we can go ahead and delete this guy and say, you know, at some point it's probably safe to say that Bitcoin could break out of this or, or really uh, break through this level in the coming days or even weeks. Now, the more significant area that we have on Bitcoin is measuring from the current all-time high to the most recent swing highs going from around $61,000, $62,000 with the swing high being around uh, $59,000 to $60,000, just a couple of thousand dollars below that previous area. So with Bitcoin ramping down here, we see this falling level of resistance, but relatively this same level of support, which I know you guys are probably getting thoughts stirring in your head about what this could potentially be in a bearish aspect, but I want to talk about the bullish stuff first. So with this happening over here and Bitcoin closing this candle, or not really closing this candle yet, but getting ready to close this candle above the 50 EMA on this four hour time scale, I think that if Bitcoin can get a candle body closing above this point, I really don't see much of a reason that Bitcoin can go all the way up to around 58 or just above that $58,000 level. We saw that this was previous resistance and I would imagine that it continues to be a uh, resistance. And this is also, you know, what we formerly saw in support, we currently are seeing as resistance. So if Bitcoin was to go out and top towards anywhere, I would imagine 58K would be its next move, which is about $1,500 to the upside. Now, if Bitcoin really wants to break through this, it, I think that it definitely could see that 59,000, but this is where the, the heavy resistance is going to start kicking in because now we also have this resistance trend line. And on top of this, we're also gonna have one of the previous uh, micro to macro swing highs, one of these more midterm swing swing highs areas where it's not like this long term all time high or yearly high or even I would say monthly high but this is still going to be a fairly significant resistance level just below $60,000. So I think that if Bitcoin can break that $60,000 level with some good momentum, it could certainly go back up and see these all time highs and you know if not test it even break it. So the main resistance for Bitcoin right here is going to be breaking this micro uh, resistance level that it's seeing some resistance at right now. I believe that if it breaks this, it's gonna go straight to around 58,000. If it can break that to 59, 59 is gonna be a really hard, 59 to 60K is gonna be the really hard struggling point in my opinion for Bitcoin. But breaking that would be a beautiful sign of Bitcoin showing some major strength. Now, I wanna hold off from talking about this descending triangle in this video. I think I'm gonna save that for another video to come because you know the trend is our friend on Bitcoin. We're breaking out we're holding support levels so i don't think that there's too much of a reason to talk about anything too bearish in this video we're seeing some great buying pressure come in since the market has opened on uh, or really since after the the monday market open where we saw a little bit of a dump but moving back over here into this uh, MACD, we are seeing that the bears are leaving. We are seeing this lower swing high, or excuse me, this higher swing low on this four hour MACD time scale and something very, very similar with this RSI from uh, a macro or zoomed out perspective. Going over to the daily, we can see that there is some great buying pressure. Also, this double bottom forming on this daily time scale and this double bullish divergence that is just about to form on this MACD. 
And if you guys don't know what this is, this is simply just a higher swing low on a daily's perspective on this uh, uh, of the MACD. So what we are seeing is this, if I wanna graph it out. So we have the initial or most recent swing low, and then we have our current swing low. And with this one being lower than this one, this is saying that there are lower levels of negative momentum upon this attempt to the downside than we saw the last time around. So that's always a good thing to see. Uh, on the Bitcoin chart. And so over here, we can see it just a little bit more plainly of kind of this, this pocket that I believe Bitcoin has some area to move in from its current price of $56,000. I do think that we have a little bit of a, let me go ahead and redraw this. I do think that we have a little bit of a pocket to move in here, probably about a two, per, two to 3% uh, upside window where kind of anything goes for Bitcoin, but I would definitely lean pretty bullish in here. Again, really like the double bottom, really like the potential that Bitcoin has over here. From a trader's perspective, there is a lot of opportunity, which is always cool. And we still have that 50 EMA lingering just a couple of thousand dollars below us. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I am getting very excited because as you can see, the volume on Bitcoin is falling off, which I tend to think that may is making a squeeze in the price action of Bitcoin. So I think that a squeeze is coming, a big price move is coming, and we're gonna explain that in another video. So if you guys enjoyed videos like this one, make sure to hit the like button make sure to hit the subscribe button to get more content like this and throw a comment in the comment section down below and let me know your guys thoughts on bitcoin so i can interact with you guys down in the comment section if you guys want to join the discord it's completely free no strings attached i will leave a link to that in the description down below and also an image at the end of the video so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video